Imagine the wonders of what having $50,000 can do to you and your family. A down payment on a home, travel and explore the entire world, buy a coffee table, or pay $50,000 to watch an animation of yourself getting seduced by Spongebob. That's not quite what this YouTuber did, but he came pretty close because instead of Spongebob, it was Hotel Has Been. Verbal Ace is a YouTuber that amassed over 5 million subscribers for posting fictional beatbox videos that included a lot of famous cartoons and movies where people would rap against each other. Sensitive society compared it a lot to epic rap battles of history, and honestly, I couldn't really think of a better comparison, it's just that. But every beef is settled with verbal queef. Left like this. <laughs> And I mean, as a kid that really enjoyed DRB growing up, I can perfectly understand why these videos have garnished over hundreds of millions of views. Like, for example, we have Pennywise versus the Joker, and who could forget the cult classic Thanos beatbox solo? So this is some epic shit that we're dealing with here, something that the average man can't handle. But Verbal Ace is no average man, because despite making cartoon beatbox ciphers at the age of 40, which, you know, is whatever, talent and passion doesn't got an age limit to it, unless you Dylan Zippy, in which the only thing you're pursuing is kitty titties, that's a different story. Verbal Ace, however, made a decision, luckily one that wasn't as worse as Zippy's, but definitely one that was way sadder. You see, with all this new fame and fortune Verbal Ace made with all these videos, you would expect him to make smart financial decisions, especially given his age, but recently one of his purchases was leaked to the public that I couldn't even see Bill Gates being able to flip a fucking penny on. It's incredible to believe people can turn these nightmares into reality once they get enough money involved, and that nightmare was an animated sex tape between him and a character off of a horror show called Has Been Hotel, which is pretty popular, I don't know too much much about it, and from the community on their Twitter I did from researching all of this, I'm even more thankful I don't. But one interesting thing I found was somehow almost the entire show got leaked before being officially released. Like, what kind of Dr. Doom ass plot did a worker have against this show or something? Because, like, how, did, how does that even happen? But moving on, Verbal Ace was a massive fan of it. Such a massive fan, in fact, that he didn't spend $50,000 in order to maybe get a share of the company. He's not even a crazed maniac that splurges life savings out all in the merchandise. But instead, he ascended to a level that is somehow worse and threw 50 bands for a private artist team to draw Charlie pegging out his morning star while he's tied up on a bed. Probably the last thing that I could even think of creating, but the verbal ace, this has been a lifelong dream of his, and it finally came true. Boxing on the beat to boxing out his meat, losing almost everything he's ever worked for, because now this is his entire reputation. On the internet, everybody that knows this man's existence, or even don't, and found out about him through this terrible decision like me, are all clowning on him and making jokes about it. And I'm sure you're wondering what the video even is, because I'm talking about it like it's on par with the chapter black tape and honestly, after seeing it for myself, I can definitely say it is. The user posted the entire AMV onto her page. I want to clarify that this is just a leaker and not one of the artists that actually took the time and the pockets out of verbal to make this monstrosity that would play for you now. Which won't be much of it because by the two minute mark, it was starting to look like Fifty Shades of Grey if it was produced by Nickelodeon. So I skipped the main introduction, which was him teleporting to where Hotel Has Been takes place, which I guess is the back of a fucking Roku screensaver. I mean, it's hard to even comprehend what's even going on here, but from what I've gathered, the main character is chasing after him, spraying out of her panties like a backyard sprinkler over Verbal Ace, and he's just doing whatever he can to run away from her. The story isn't really what's important here, but I mean, I could not inform you on what the fuck is even going on here in the first place. This is the first video in my entire life that has allowed me to enhance my sense of smell with how Uwu Narwhal does the rain dance under the unicorn XD ass aesthetic it has to it. Like Cool Ranch Doritos and Orange Smegma is spilling out of my computer from just playing this. Now if you have the money to do whatever with it, so be it, but the next segment I'm about to play makes it very difficult to not judge this guy and question if he should be thrown away in Arkham Asylum for directing and paying for this shit. It's moments like these that make me thankful for people like Stevie Wonder to exist in this world so they don't have to see shit like this. This man sat down and directed every single one of these scenes out without missing a detail just to have the finished product be you getting m 
tested by an undead Gwen Stacy. I understand this video or any trace of it was never supposed to be seen by the public anyways, but to have this much creativity and money behind you to produce something as low quality as this would have had me fuming. For 50000 I would expect the CGI to come back with the same level of a Marvel movie where even the veins would reflect in the light or some shit. This looks like a job a Fiverr user would do for a thousand bucks, but this man dropped a whole scat pack and a couple extra racks on this shit and did it with a smile on his face and a boner in his pants. Yeah, this man read Wattpad like it was Harry Potter back in the day to think of this shit. I think that's enough footage to show what even goes down in this video because truth be told, it would be hard to not projectile vomit if I seen another second. The rest of the video is just him getting seduced by her, but from this utter masterpiece being created, Verbal Ace allegedly went bankrupt because of it. Now, I'm not so quick to really jump on board with that statement because first of all, being bankrupt is a public record, so there would be proof or evidence of it already out there to see. Which even if you looked across every web page known to man would come up with nothing but the Plus, I know Dan well with YouTube's monetization system, that motherfucker has seen some pretty big numbers. I'm not gonna go pocket watch him, but seeing on how he amassed a billion views across his channel and has 5 million subscribers, I find it very unlikely that he's begging out on the side of the streets because of hentai porn. The community responded to it, as I said before, very negatively, and really how could you not? It's hard to have a positive outlook on a situation where a man would go to even this length of money to satisfy himself. Man, I was having a good day until I saw this. I'm convinced if this video was played at a St. Jude hospital, all the patients would immediately flatline. This seems like an awful lot of money for something subpar. Couldn't agree more. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of effort and time put into this, and I'm by no means saying it's bad or the creator has no talent. Just five figures worth for a two minute animated video? Really hard to convince me on how that's close to reasonable. But if any artist wants to use their spit and phone screen as a painting canvas for the comments in order to prove me wrong, I would highly encourage you to, because 50,000? Like, come on, dog. Pay me 50k and I'll do it. But seriously, it's his money, so leave him be, man. Yeah, I'm sure this is your average Joe of a guy probably enjoys chess and walks in the park. Rawls MILF anime feet pics. Twitch affiliate. Now tell me your entire diet is soy blocks and G fuel without saying a word. This guy kicks ass. No, but maybe smells like it. I mean, this is the most redditor thing my two eyes have ever encountered. But besides a handful of a few fans, most of the internet found this to be too internet. So cringe and pathetic that it hurts the souls to almost everybody that watched it. And besides getting clowned on, that looked to be about the whole entire situation wrapped up. Till an allegation surface of the artist of this music video being only 15 years old when she drew it. Obviously, with anything viral, whether it be good or bad, an allegation has to follow behind it on Twitter. Luckily, this story has a happy ending because, as I said, Verbal Ace paid an entire experienced team to make this for some reason. And there are no sources out there that have any confirmation of any of the members being below the age of 18. I think he's definitely in the clear from being a minor refiner, but certainly not from being a damn semen demon. Because it's practically the smartest thing to do, Verbal Ace has remained completely non-verbal about this entire situation. All that he's done was upload another video, like this shit was just the bee's knee something casual like his hentai tapes or car payments throwing racks out on the weekly. Who really knows? But all the upload was about was just another trailer for a beatbox series he has. I don't know, maybe with his movie being done, he might start doing it with his legs instead of his mouth this time. But that's really about it. Everything else across his channel and other social media has been reduced to radio silence. I think intervention needs to be kicked back up on air to people that are addicted to hentai because I know this man is definitely not alone. I thought OnlyFans was the bottom of the barrel, but this is like a new low that's drowned in the depths of the Mariana Trent. The only positive positive thing I can say about this whole ordeal is that at least nobody was harmed. In other videos, we've had a lot worse endings where lives were scarred or ruined from the actions that these YouTubers do. If Verbal Ace makes a response to everything, I'll be sure to provide you guys with another update about everything because no matter how sad the situation might look, there is always two sides to every story. Except his side is going to be a story that's going to be very hard to hear or reason with. I honestly think he just made a really regrettable decision that was both ignorant and embarrassing now that he has to live with the fact that everybody knows his biggest fantasy is to get submissively pounded out by furry demons. Couldn't look at myself in the mirror if that was me, but everybody is entitled to have their money and spend it however they like. So if this is truly what makes this man giggle with glee every night, then so be it. Just a short little story I thought I would share to you all that I found this morning because of how ridiculous the entire thing is. I remember the sun was shining bright through my window with the birds chirping, and as soon as I played this video, lightning started to strike. I wouldn't really count this as a video or an upload because of the length, but I'll make sure to pack in a 12-inch hog hammer for my next post, which will probably be on Nadia or Jack Doherty. Some of you already know that because I post future videos coming out on my Instagram that you could follow right now if you go into my description. Make sure to slap a like on this video for your dad slaps you. Subscribe if you hit my vibe and with that being said I'll see you all very soon. Alright I'm gonna head out this bitch.